In this video, we use the LL1 parsing table we created earlier to construct a parse tree and derive a leftmost derivation for a given input string. To do this, we need two main components, an input buffer and a stack. The input buffer contains the entire input string followed by the dollar sign to mark the end of the input. The stack starts with the grammar symbol, start symbol, followed by a dollar sign. As we parse, we will perform one of the four possible actions. Number one, update the stack. This happens when the symbol at the top of the stack is a non-terminal. We replace that non-terminal with the right hand side of the corresponding protection rule. Action number two. Input match. When the top of the stack is a terminal and it matches the first symbol in the input buffer, we remove both symbols from the stack and the input buffer. Action 3. Accept. If both the stack and the input buffer contains only the dollar sign, it means that the input string has been successfully parsed and we conclude the process. Action number 4. Error. If none of above conditions apply, it means there is a mismatch between the input and the grammar, indicating a parsing error. Now, let's go to an example. Initially, the stack contains the non-terminal E at the top, and the input buffer starts with the symbol ID. Since E is a non-terminal, we consult the LL1 parsing table, the table entry for E and ID shows that the production rule E goes to T E prime should be applied. This triggers the update the stack action and we replace E in the stack with T E prime. At this point, we begin to build our parse tree and our leftmost derivation starting with E driving to E E prime. Next, we examine the top of the stack which now contains T and compare it with the input buffer which still has ID. Since T is another non-terminal, we again refer to the parsing table. The table tells us that T goes to F T prime. We update the stack by replacing T with F T prime and continue updating our parse tree and leftmost derivation. At this stage, the top of the stack is F and the input buffer still contains ID. The parsing table indicates that F goes to ID. We replace F in the stack with ID. Now, for the first time, the top of the stack is a terminal ID. Instead of consulting the table, we check if the terminal matches the first symbol in the input buffer, which is also ID. Since they match, we perform the input match action by removing ID from both stack and the input buffer. This process continues in the same way, alternating between updating the stack and matching input symbols until 
either the string is fully parsed or an error occurs. Let's continue in silence until we either encounter an error or reach the acceptance state. Finally, we reach the state where both the stack and the input buffer contains only the dollar sign. This triggers the accept action, meaning the input string is valid and has been successfully parsed. Our parse tree and the leftmost derivation are now complete, confirming that the input string conforms to the grammar and is syntactically correct. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting this channel. Your support is vital for its continuing growth. See you in the next video. Bye.